Um, Morning Blend viewers, stick around because we'll be right back. Murder on the Orient Express, the postman always rings twice. If you love mysteries and you've even thought about writing one yourself, we've got the perfect place for you to go. Absolutely. Bill Adams and Marianne Hutchinson are here with the Arizona Mystery Writers to tell us about being a part of this great club. Thank you guys both so much for joining us. Thank you for having We're us. Glad to be here. And is this really a club that's made up of just mystery lovers and also writers? Well, we are mystery writers and we write mysteries. And, uh, but we also, people who come to our meetings are people who would like to write mysteries or people who read mysteries, but they would like to know how it's done. Okay. You know, so how long has the club uh, been around? Is there a lot, of, a lot of age there and experience? Let's go back to the early 90s. So whatever that works out to be. Yeah. And we do have experience. We have some of our um, published writers publish old school Elizabeth Gunn, um, Susan Cummins Susan Miller. Cummins Miller. There's some of our books here. And then the new ebooks. We have oh, yeah. the people who are doing ebooks. And then you can change it from ebooks to printed or vice versa. So publishing has changed since oh, yeah. some of our writers came in. And it, it took a while for them to say, I'm not going to do that. I want to be published by the big boys in New York. Oh, and that, that takes a lot of work and uh, talent to get there. And so when you say come to our meetings, what happens at the meetings that people can kind of get that inside track? Well, it's a lot of fun. We meet once a month, and it's a lunch meeting. It's at Old Pueblo Grill. And we have an expert speaker come in and talk to us about um, crime, criminal justice. Um, we've had some good speakers, uh, and uh, they help us write authentic, authentic mysteries. We don't want to be off base. We want it to seem real. So what are some of the ones we've had recently? We love forensics. Right. And we're, we're an odd group, okay? We had an entomology professor who spoke to us on how insects devour bodies. And then we ate lunch. Not a lot of people. <laughs> well, <laughs> interesting. Yeah. <laughs> and they, um, we learned things. So I, I found out just recently we had a fire uh, arson investigator. Uh, and from TPD, and I became, I, I realized that you can't use arson to cover up a murder. It's the sort of way we think, you know, like I have a murder, how am I going to cover it up? I'll set the place on fire. He said, no, they're too sophisticated. They can find out if it was arson. So you learn things, you're not going to write that in your next book. And that's what I like, that you want it to be authentic, because when people do read mysteries, they do that. They go, no, yeah, that would never happen. happen. Yeah, right. So you want to make sure that whatever it is that you're writing is not only your story, but it stays to something that could, in reality, happen. Right. The TV shows do not show right. the actual. Um, we're, we're very proud of our speakers because they're local. And we can grab from the ju judiciary, for the, from the attorneys, uh, but again, we go back to homicide, burglary. Um, well, and we've had all of the law enforcement agencies, including the FBI, uh, the FBI, ATF, DEA, the alphabet, <laughs> federal, <laughs> the alphabet of acronyms of the yeah. federal yeah. investigators, except for two. There's only two organizations that you haven't had. They are reluctant. Oh. The CIA and the Secret Service. Oh, oh they don't yeah. want to I know can't, their secrets. I, I'm still after them. <laughs> They're a little busy guarding uh, some people. But they, do, <laughs> but they do more than that, yeah. and that's what we yeah. think our, our people would like to know. Well, absolutely, and, and I think you're probably speaking to a lot of people out there, and they're interested in, you know, how can I join? So can you tell us how, how anyone could join? Well, one thing is our meetings are open to the public, so anybody can come, and it's uh, $10 to listen to the speaker, $20 if you want to stay for lunch. Uh, but if you're a member, it's cheaper. So membership's $25 a year, and we have, oh, maybe 50, 50 members that are active. Mm -hmm. and, but we have a lot more people who just come and look and have a lot of fun. And uh, it's a nice lunch. And we do talk about writing, too, like how to write better, better characters, better crimes. You know, kind of, you know, throw some ideas um, around. Right. Now, besides the lunch and the speakers that you have, do you also do events? Sure. We, well, one, one of our big events is the Tucson Festival of Books. We have a booth there, and we're there, and we sell our books, and uh, it's a lot of fun. 
What else do we do that's we fun? We just did the finished doing the All Zona Book oh, yeah. Fest, and that is all Arizona authors. And uh, this is the second year hosted by Gecko Gales Inc. And I am one of the five, so oh. I'll just give us a small plug. Oh. And we had really great turnout this year, and I think. Uh, it was a lot of fun. All right, so we're keeping it local. We're asking people if they're interested in coming to maybe listen to the speakers or join the club that we, you, you know, are open to new people. Come on down, have fun, right? Maybe grab some lunch. And then, um, you know, maybe the CIA will come out too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got a great lineup coming up right. for 2015. All right, well, people have to come down and check it out. Thank you both so much for coming today. And you're invited to the Mystery Writers Luncheon on January 10th from 10 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. at Old Pueblo Grill. You can submit your best story to the writing contest that starts on January 1st. For more information, call 433 or log on to ArizonaMysteryWriters.com.